Dear students, in this session, I am going to discuss the diffusion pump. So, diffusion pump is one of the uh, you know the pump which uh, creates a low pressure. So, that diffusion pump, its principal and uh, principal construction working, we are going to be discuss in this session. <coughs> About, let us uh, discuss about the diffusion pump. The diffusion pumps are commonly used mechanism for creating a high vacuum. So to create a high vacuum, we, we are using the diffusion pump. The gases at low pressure can be removed by high pressure fluid streams. So the, this is the main uh, principle we used in the case of diffusion pump. So the we are users, uh, we are used gases at low pressure. Uh, sorry, uh, we, we have to be used the high pressure fluid streams to remove the low pressure gases uh, which are present in the diffusion pump. So this is the main principle, one of the principle of the diffusion pump. So this was first thought by the GID. So GID actually uh, think over the diffusion pump. Later this concept was used by the Langmuir and constructed the advanced uh, uh, diffusion pump in the 1915. Uh, it is also commonly used, uh, uh, you know, used in the mass spectrometry, analytical instruments, research and development, uh, uh, you know, department in the in companies and also in the nanotechnology. Uh, so here, these are all the applications wherever we use the diffusion pump. Since uh, there are no moving mechanical parts in the diffusion pumps. Uh, in the diffusion pump, so there are no moving mechanical parts. So if you have the moving mechanical parts, uh, there is uh, some noises uh, uh, will, will be there. So that's why uh, uh, here there is no moving mechanical parts. It is uh, extremely uh, real, uh, reliable and uh, this operates without uh, any noise or vibration. So if we have some you know, moving mechanical parts, so usually we'll get the noises and vibrations and the apparatus will, uh, we, we cannot uh, get the reliable uh, you know, apparatus in the diffusion pump. So usually they will damage us. So that's why this is the main uh, important uh, thing. We use the diffusion pump in even in the nowadays in the research and development uh, departments and in the nanotechnology. So what are the construction of this uh, diffusion pump? You can uh, see this is the diagram. This is the typical diagram of diffusion pump. It has a cylindrical shape. This is a cylindrical shaped uh, chamber and in which the cone shaped pressure jets are there. So one into the other. So one into the other the cone shaped pressure jets we are arranged. And in the bottom the heat chamber is present. So here, this is the heat chamber. Uh, the water is circulated through the copper coils to remove the excess heat. So wherever the dots or the circles are there, so that will show uh, that is the you know copper coils. So through which copper coils the coolant we use the water or any coolant. So to remove the uh, excess heat. Uh, this is about the construction of the uh, diffusion pump. Let us discuss its working. Diffusion pump is working on the principle of gas diffusion. So gas diffusion. So gas diffusion means we, we have to be uh, use some gases or any fluids. So when it is passes through the high, high stream, the gases, you know, gas fluids or any fluids high pressure fluids. So then it will remove the low pressure gas molecules present in the uh, you know, place. So wherever we want to be create the high vacuum. Uh, high is electrically heated at the bottom of the pump. Here we have to be use the yellow color. This is the oil. So this oil is at the bottom. So we have to be heat this uh, oil uh, by electrically. Uh, so usually we use the oils of uh, boiling point 180 degrees centigrade to 270 degrees centigrade 
and whenever we heat the uh, you know oils in the bottom of the pump the it will boils and creates a vapor gives a vapor and this oil vapor goes up along the uh, halo cone exits through the pressure jets with supersonic speed so here whenever we heat the oil it will goes through the cones and it will exhaust through the you know pressure jets here small holes will be there so and through that uh, small hole with a supersonic speed uh, this uh, you know uh, vaporized oil is comes out with a supersonic speed and when it comes out these oil vapors expand and collides with water cooled wall of diffusion pump so here this this wall is water cooled because the coolant is circulating around this so therefore the high pressured uh, supersonic speed the oil vapors will collide with the uh, wall cooled wall and the vapor will the condenses so because it has a high temperature and a high pressure when it collides with the uh, cooled wall it will condenses and when it condenses it will moves down with a thin film uh, uh, when it is collides with the uh, you know cooled wall then it will condenses and moves down as a thin film the partial pressure of the air molecules is very low and hence the air molecules diffuses into the jet stream so whatever the oil stream we uh, is comes out as a with a supersonic speed uh, that will uh, uh, when it is collides with the cooled wall of a diffusion pump and then it will becomes condensed and uh, there are some partial pressure of air molecules are present in the chamber that air molecules will combine combined with are diffuse are combined are diffuse into the jet stream or we can say the oil vapor and it and it will comes down so thus air molecules are removed and vacuum is created at the top of the diffusion pump from the top of the diffusion pump it will comes down so therefore at the top of the diffusion pump the vacuum is created because the whatever the air molecules are there so that will combine or diffuse into the oil vapor and it will comes down as a thin film the pressure is trapped a uh, the pressure of trapped air increases as it flows down so whatever the uh, air molecules are there in the uh, diffusion pump at the top of the diffusion pump so that is uh, whatever the uh, air molecules were there the pressure of trap that air is increases because it comes down so previously they were in the top of the diffusion pump whenever they combine or diffuse into the you know jet uh, you know oil vapor that will comes down and therefore the pressure of that air molecules is increases so therefore we have to be uh, therefore in the bottom or at the lower level the backing pressure is built so whenever the air molecules are comes down so the pressure of the air molecule is increases so as the increase of the pressure there is a backing pressure is built inside the uh, you know diffusion pump so we have to be use the pump pump fluid must be free from any impurities uh, before reaching the boiler again so you can see this one so whenever the oil is comes down as a thin film it has some air molecules in with uh, with it so we whenever we want to be use that oil again we have to be free from any impurities because the air molecules are already present we have to be remove so the removing of that air impurities uh, air air or impurities from the oil is called as degassing the process is called as the degassing to remove the impurities condensed oil is heated to about 130 degree centigrade before re entry into the 
oil chamber. So to remove the air impurities, again we have to be heated that oil, impured oil to about 130 degrees centigrade. So then the air molecules will remove and uh, the, again the oil is oil can be reused. These gas molecules are removed by backing pump. So what are the gas molecules were present in the you know, condensed oil. So whenever you heat that oil into the 130 degree centigrade that will remove and removed gas molecules again we have to be removed from the uh, you know, diffusion pumps. So therefore that gas molecules are removed by backing pump. So usually silicon oil, mercury and hydrocarbon oils are used as a working fluid in the diffusion pump. So, but nowadays mercury we are not used because uh, it is a very uh, toxic. So, when it is heated, the, the vapor is very toxic. So, polyphenol ether and for fluorofluor polyether are widely used as a working fluid in the diffusion pump. So, this is about the construction and working of the diffusion pump. So hope you understand uh, very well. To this I will conclude this session. Thank you.